Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. What I have in front of me is the bottom of a diesel electric locomotive, which I'm guessing is a switch engine. I don't know what it was torched out of, but uh, based off of what I'm seeing here, I'm guessing a switch engine. Um, it's a four inch thick car body deck. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this down um, quite a ways, and then we're gonna throw it up on the boring mill and face this whole thing down to one inch thick. Um, it's uh, right now it's four inch. And this is actually for the Mark Twain Zephyr, which is being restored about uh, seven, eight miles from here. And I do work for them quite frequently with the locomotives. I do the mechanical and the electrical troubleshooting, um, some track work, things like that. So with that, let's get this thing preheated, set up my guides and start torching. All right, so it's all cut out, and next thing will be to get it up on the boring mill, and we'll have to set up the uh, angle plates and stuff. But uh, still a heavy chunk, but uh, it'll be a lot lighter when I'm done taking taking three inches off of what's there. All right, here it is, set up on the boring mill. Um, I didn't shoot any of that just because I knew it was going to be a fiasco, and it went up there. It's up there. It's clamped down. I'll walk you around, show you the the uh, setup and the cutter we're going to use, and then we'll start cutting. So you got to get creative sometimes on the boring mill. These angle plates I actually built years ago for another job, specifically for one job, and I haven't touched them since, and now they're being put back into service in this job. And I had to make some custom clamps, plus some other clamping, and I think we're in good shape. And then this is that cutter I use, a fly cutter I made that uses the opposite corner of the CNMG inserts, that wider angle. You can see that? Now we need to take this thing from the full four inches down to one inch. So we got three inches to cut off this thing. That'll be fun. So let's get going. That's a pretty nice finish. That's our first pass there, taking 125 thousandths. Um, I'm not sure what RPM that is because this machine never had the, the, the tag on it to say what RPM was, but I select one that I feel was good and I feel it's a good speed. 
Um, I was feeding eight thou per revolution at 125 deep. I'm gonna try taking 200 this next pass and see how it goes. So I left off last night, I got three and five sixteenths total thickness, so I still have two and five sixteenths to take off. And this is a time consuming job, but that's okay, it's way better than building a new one um, for the application. So I'm gonna get my insert changed out and we'll start milling again. Well, that cut went a little better. Um, I took 125 thousandths in a pass, this time um, for depth of cut, and I sped up my spindle speed a little better, and it actually handled it better, um, decreased my run time per cut. So I think I'm gonna run with that, and uh, we'll just finish this thing off. Down to an inch and a quarter. That's two passes left. I've been taking an eighth inch a pass. I slowed my spindle down just a little bit and I actually sped up my feed 
I'm taking 12th hour revolution and everything's cutting really well. The inserts lasting longer. Everything's doing really good at that speed and, and feed. So we're gonna keep going with that. All right, so I changed my mind. I'm gonna finish this tonight because I got about 100 thou to go and my wife's upset with me and I'm tired of being filthy, so let's get this job done and out of here. Well, there you have it, the truck bolster for the Mark Twain Zephyr. Started out as a um, flame cut piece out of a NW2 locomotive that got scrapped, four inches thick. Um, in all total, we took about a thousand pounds of material off of this thing between torching and milling. All with the horizontal boring mill with a CNMG insert and a, you know, homemade uh, fly cutter. Worked beautifully, did the job perfectly. So with that, I've got some cleanup to do. So until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.